some of the games I've missed over the past decade, which is basically all of them. I am, of course, the voice of the Institute, Larissa, and I'm joined by the man behind the curtain, Mark. How's it going? Oh, it's going all right. Wow. Is that your <laughs> Mark impression? Yeah, that's my Mark impression. I'm kind of offended over here. I usually <laughs> sound better than that. Uh, do you, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it ten seconds in <laughs> before you made me feel bad. It's a new record, I think. All right. Aww. Ace Combat 7. Yeah, I am actually Mark, if that didn't come across. And the other one's Larissa. We're back for some Ace Combat 7. Sky is unknown. So, uh, you remember what happened last time, or should I go over it? Or I'll go over it either way. But Actually, actually, you should go back and uh, adjust some of your settings because you're a bit quiet still. What? That's bullshit. Okay, give me one second. You'll, you'll have to carry the stream, I guess, for the rest of that. That's what you want. Oh. Oh, God. That's that's really... Oh, God. It's almost like I don't know how to stream by myself. <laughs> yeah, so, chat, as you can see here, we've got a poll up asking if Mark is a bad enough dude to rescue the president. president. So your options are yes or hell yes. So choose why. All right, I'm back. Very, very... Do I sound okay. better? Uh, you know, I think we need to get some leeway here because I am shooting from my living room, which we don't usually do. We're trying to do more of it, but we're still getting the setup going. So I like give me some, give me a break here, you know. Uh, all right, all right, fine. But do I sound good? That's that's what I'm really wanting here. It sounds good. All right, I'm gonna jump into this. So yeah, uh, I'm starting that mission over from last time from scratch or from the start because you can't start a mission midway through. Unless I plan this better. So. Oh, and also I'm going to play multiplayer in the meantime. So full disclosure, I have some better planes here. Including my absolute favorite plane, the SU-30. I thought it was the SU-486. So you you keep even, changing your favorite plane. You, okay, no, I don't. Because you just made up a plane. <laughs> I did no just make SU up a plane. SU-486 or whatever the hell you said. All right. Although yeah. I can't find myself. Where am I in the <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Logically22, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Ooh, Appreciate it. All right, all right. You know, I, I feel like kind of a little thrown off here because of the whole couch setup. Like, it's been a while since um since I've streamed this whole setup, but I, I think it's going to be okay, right? Tell me it's going to be okay. It'll absolutely be okay. Excellent, Just all right. Just don't put the microphone over. Well, now I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I am going to risk putting up my chair. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's... See, I had no context for what you just did. I, I put up my chair. You you put out your footrest? Yeah, but why? Okay. What did I say? Did I not say that? You, you put out your chair, which makes it sound like, I don't know, you were just standing? Oh, no, yeah, no, I was putting up the footrest. I got a blanket. This, <laughs> this is a great way to stream, I think. <laughs> uh, and now I'm just upgrading my plane from the comfort of my spacious basement. As, Show as... off. <laughs> Have you ever seen um, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? I have not. Ah, god damn it. I'm adding that to your list. Wow, this list is longer than my arm. Are we gonna play? Are we gonna fly some planes? We are playing. I am I am upgrading a plane with some icons. Is that not fun? Are you not enjoying this? <laughs> I am not entertained. What? All right, fuck you, let's begin the sortie. Now, you might remember from last time, we're about to begin a counterattack on that lighthouse, which is a giant space elevator. Except we can't just yet, because there's all sorts of radar around. So, their genius plan is to send me in, alone, to navigate through these radar things, and then blow up all the AA. And then they'll send in, like, some guy after me, I guess. Or they'll send in a bunch of well, guys Well, wasn't me. it, like, a, a bunch of guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna send in a whole whole bunch of dudes after me. But for now, it's I'm solo. I'm not so soloing here. Pixie, Opposing of course. Ha 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 ha! That is a joke I do not understand. Contact. Yeah. Alright. Now, someone told me there's like an easy shortcut to get to this thing 
like as soon as it starts. So let's do that. And just... Uh, let me give it a go. Well, what if I what if I die right away? Well, then we'll try again. Good luck. Okay, but like we've already done this a million times last time. Remember, remember that whole thing? Yeah, I, I yeah. do remember. But I, I think I see what they're talking bubbles. about. Uh, so if you look at the mini-map, we're going to have to make a left turn coming up. And then normally we'd make another left turn, but we could take a right and, like, go through that tiny crack in the thing and then hopefully make it through, I guess. You give it a go. Careful Worth a shot. Clouds. By the way, logically22 cheered 300 slim slams and says, Given how H2, things go in Red out. Dragon, I'm not sure how Merc flying a plane will go, but Soviet planes were cheap and disposable. Uh, not entirely true. Not my plane, anyways. Look at this sucker. Also, my plane is getting covered in ice, and it's gonna crash. Was it this bad last time? Like, the weather was not this bad last month, right? Or, yeah, last month. <laughs> uh, I do remember icing up being a problem before. But this seems, like, really bad. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, see? Wait. Yeah, look how cool my plane is. It looks like a plane. You know, Larissa, I get the feeling that... You're not getting the full it, it aviation looks, experience. It looks kind of like a plane that I found in a cereal box once. You found a plane in a cereal box? Well, one of them toy ones, you know? Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, you know, planes <laughs> aren't, you know, small enough to fit in a cereal box. So I, I knew you were lying. What? Or mistaken. No, that that can't be right. Yep, sorry, it is. It's got to fit in a cereal box. Nope. You've flown in planes. You should know that. Mm -hmm. This is some top quality band, by the way, I think. <laughs> That's so great. All right, should I try to make it through that gap that seems impossible to get through? Uh, give it a go. I, I said that. But I mean, like, do you want to risk it? What if I suck? Then we'll try again. But, like, what if I really suck? Well, is, if, then I guess you'll what, be embarrassed. What, what does chat say? Are they on, like, cause I don't think I can make it. I, before, before I saw how big the gap was, I was like, oh, yeah, I can make it. But now that I see it, I don't think I can make it at all. Plus, like, the Logically, 22 says go for it. Mobius243 says full afterburner. It's easy. Full afterburner. It's easy. Okay, fine. Oh, I know. But, like, look at the weather. Like, it's... Like, the wind's buffing me around. It's... Kinda... Bullwick says do it, Mark. Even I can do it. Even Bullwick? Even Bullwick. Well, if the world's worst pilot in the world can do it, I guess I can, too. But I don't think I can. I think I'm going to be restarting. No change. Well... Give it a go. All right. Full afterburners away. Oh, Alex Tasuki says the lower you go, the smaller the circles are. Wait, really? Yeah. I immediately fucked up. Oh. You're three fourths of the way. Well. Nearly home. Eh? Did I make it? Oh my god! I think you made it. Holy shit! Yeah. I am a fucking pro. A spaceship from it. Despite I've almost and this my, is what uh, sent you. Yeah, Jesus, I'm great. Look at that. Someone should clip that and then send it to Bandai Namco and say, this is the guy who needs to be on the cover of Ace Combat 8. Mark's unknown. M Mark Mark's is known as a great pilot. I noticed that you're not celebrating a great idea. I'm not super enthusiastic about that idea. Okay. Well, the point is, I made it through the thing, which I think... Okay, now we got to shoot AA guns. You ready? You ready? So ready? Also, that was uh, a bullshit tip about what was it? Smaller things if you go lower? I think they want to be a crash, because they did not seem to get any lower, or any smaller the lower I got. I mean, maybe they didn't. You just didn't notice. Well, Said the Golden Sky Cat wants to know what planes you've unlocked. All the SUs, baby. Also, I almost got shot by a second. Mage 2, target destroyed. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, yeah, I got the uh, I got the MiG-29, and then the SU-33, and then the SU-30 something or other, and then I'm currently in the SU something or other M, I think. No, I don't. I don't know what the last two that I'm doing letters are, but uh, it's the more Nicole. modern one. Mage two, target down. Sorry, Alex Tasuki asks, "Do you have Rose the Burk Hut?" No. Uh, that is the SU-47, which is my favorite plane of all time. Um, oh my god. Pick a plane! Jesus! I did! You, you picked like 80! No, it's because you keep forgetting. 
Now, you literally say, oh, it's the SU blah blah blah, blah my favorite plane, and then the next time you say something's my favorite plane, it's a different plane! Okay, you know, if you're gonna accuse me of being inconsistent in private, maybe you have a chance. But I have an audience here, and they know that I'm telling the truth and that you're a liar, so... <laughs> my god. Yeah, yeah, you messed up here to try to do this character assassination. Oh, look, it's allies. They've come to help me. About time, boys! So, I can't quite remember the logic of why you had to do all this accurate flying. And, like, take out these guns, even though you haven't finished taking out the guns and they're just flying in... I guess I got most of them. Gung ho? Because before they were like, we can't send in the reinforcements until all the guns are out. But then I got, like, four of them. I'm like, yeah, it's probably good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just send everybody in. Or maybe they saw my sweet maneuver, and they were like, oh, shit. Like, if we don't send in our guys now, this guy is going to take down all the targets just by himself. It's that good. Oh, right. That's what um, happened every single soccer game. I was ever. <laughs> like, they usually just put me to face the enemy team alone, and then afterwards, they're like, we're killing the rest of the team. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... You know, the enemy team, it was a bench, right? Uh, shut up. <laughs> I'll have you know it was a one. Oh, I played on oh. Okay, that makes more sense. Actually, when you were in school, and this is nothing to do with this game, I should be commenting on the game. I'm going to talk about soccer. Did you ever play four way soccer in school? No, can't say oh, that I have. It was awesome. It was like soccer, but it was two after two. Also, just bandits and guns. Oh my god. Oh, it's those jackass UAVs again. Oh, cinematic. Oh shit. Oh, never mind. It's just a helicopter. Rescue craft tagged on. Initiate. You know, I'm really glad that um, on the, ground is the graphics in this game have gotten to the point where you can actually like, see the helicopters and stuff from. Um, in previous games on the PlayStation 2, it had the cinematics of like helicopters and tanks or whatever, and it just elevator. looked like a block with some circles attached to it doing something. Oh. In the dark. The That's cute. Now. Run for the container. Wait, I was supposed to get the drones, but now I'm going after the container boxes. Mitchell. I'm doing the right thing, right? Uh, you're hitting the little targets. That's Vehicle that's down. good. See, that's why I'm the ace. Yeah, the container the boxes profile. had the drones in it, right? Although, I mean, they do, but also the drones came from the other side of the map, so maybe there's two Mitchell. things. Oh, I got shot at! Mitchell. Oh my god. That's not allowed. Mitchell. Especially over city. I'm a fighter pilot. I'm not equipped for this type of violence. <laughs> okay, okay. Julius Kaiser asks, Mark, are you a hero? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you have to ask that? Like, does this guy right. not oh, indicate my hero answer. status? <laughs> that was very close to the ground. I can never actually tell if I've hit anything because the, um, the red gets kind of lost in Sky, that? Yeah. Fire. Also, the president's taking fire. I'm not really taking attention. Oh, yeah, get back to Mother Goose. Well, I'm taking out these containers. I'm sure the, the president will understand. <laughs> I was going to save you, but we had to take out this harbor for some reason. You understand, Mr. Former President. Okay, okay. I think it's still called Mr. President. Sorry? I think they're still called Mr. President. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, they're still called Obama. Yeah. That they're might still be called some sort of wish fulfillment. I don't think it's wish fulfillment. I think it's just respect. With me, it's A concept you're unfamiliar with. Whoa. R E S P E C T? <laughs> I think that's how it's spelled, right? <laughs> I don't actually. Did I get that right? R E S P E C T. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know my original. Alright, I'm taking my shit. Ah! They keep launching more UAVs. It's very frustrating. It's almost like they want you to fail this mission. But, like, not quite. You know? That's gonna happen. Well, I think it's going to get worse. Ignoring for the. Oh, shit! Okay, I know the crash. That looked a lot closer Ooh. ground wise than it actually was, so. It was actually quite heroic that I freaked out just then. Oh, super heroic. And thanks, Alex Kazuki, for joining the Institute. Joined at a good time. Or, ah, goddammit. <laughs> missiles, man. Shoot the things that fire the missiles. 
You know, Larissa, you're full of good ideas today. You'll be right. Yeah. Sometimes I just feel like these, these ideas come to me and they just gotta get out. I've sent the information via the data link. Not very often though, right? Oh yeah, it's it's occasional. Okay. I mean it's enough to be noteworthy, you know? Are you sure you don't have something with headaches? Oh no, I also have headaches. I'm having one of those things again, a headache with pictures. Do you have an idea? Yeah, I know my picture. Alright, alright. Alright, too many keys got okay. I gotta stop going after the drones and just go back after the stupid launchers because they just keep launching more. Well, don't you have to protect the president? Oh, forget the president. We're after launchers now. Except there are no more launchers. So What's I guess you aren't a bad enough dude. I... I... That's probably accurate. Yeah. Get back to Mother Goose! I... Mother Goose isn't even in the air yet. You're spoiling this. Mother... I'm seeing Mother Goose 1 written Wait, all really? over the screen. Three are sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Aww. Okay. I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> at least one of us watch is watching the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm heading back to do the missions if you think it's so important. Yeah, I know. God. Spoil sport. Alright, luckily I got some super missiles that I'm very excited about. But I'm not gonna use them yet, because I got a feeling I might need them later in this mission. Don't ask me how. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go, here we go. Can you shoot them with your guns instead of your missiles? Yes, Larissa, but I choose not to because I'm too good. But I want to see it. Okay, fine. But if I crash or something bad happens... Ah, fuck! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> see, it's fine. Alright, I'm getting on his tail. Couldn't you have picked a... Like a target that wasn't so fucking fast for the whole gun show off thing? And also, the president's life is at stake. This is no time for me to show off, but I will anyways. I, I, <laughs> Sounds I, like the perfect time to show off. Are you kidding? Uh, Alright, I shot a missile. I need a gun. There, we got him! Wow, with just my guns! Unbelievable. Like a hero. Yeah. Right, yeah. The SSD Conquer cheered 100 shlim shlams. Thank you. It says, Mark, Russian planes, 1 out of 10. Not enough freedom or burped. Uh, if, they, if you think Russian planes don't have enough BERT, then you've never heard of the SU-25. <laughs> Not enough BERT. What is BERT? <laughs> think you is? Yeah. Who the fuck do you think you is? I read this, um, this AMA from a, uh, A-10 Warthog pilot or whatever. You know those, like, the planes with the giant guns on the front? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was this common saying that the gun on the, the A-10 was so powerful that when um, you shot it at full blast, it would actually stop the plane in midair. It's, it's totally not true. But according to this guy, the worst thing about being an A-10 pilot is that everyone tells you that it's Oh, okay. So that's an aviation fact. You're that, you're that asshole who's like, um, actually... Yeah. You're the pilot? Alright, alright. Ah, ah, oh! Look at that! Jesus, you're making me a little nauseous. Yeah? A little bit. A lot of whirling and twirling up here. That's why they call me the dancer of the skies. The, the, <laughs> yeah, that's why. The ballerina man. Logically22 says 200 bits if Mark saves the president. The stakes are pretty high. Okay, I can do that. For 200 bits? Sure. Better do it, man. Chokes on that asshole. I was gonna say for free. Not anymore. Alright, so sweet aerial maneuvers. So good, Mark. So good. Oh, never mind, I lost it. Oh, well, spoke too soon, I guess? Yeah. Alright, fuck you, drone fucker. Yeah! Alright, now I'll actually try to shoot this guy with guns. Do it, I want to see guns. Alright, I, I hit him with guns, does that count? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, it's better if you bring it down. Oh, wait, no, Mother Goose is doing something. I'll probably keep track of him. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Hello, Mr. President. Don't you want to shake hands with the President? Oh, I, I did something. Did I get this wait, far what last time? Oh. Oh, I mean, you did. Far. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, 
You know, you see that that trope a lot in movies. Like, you ever see Battle Los Angeles? No, I haven't. God damn it. Battle Los Angeles is a movie of the century. Um, my point is, like, uh, what's my point? I don't know. But I would like to let you know that Bullwick has now promised 5,000 bits if you save the president. Okay. And Nathan B. 1313 will is promising 5 bits if you fail. Um, how are we defining save the president? Okay, Mother Goose got hit. Oh my god. I was just Get back to Mother Goose! But I'm shooting drones. Just you gotta protect the president. Hey, I don't actually see Mother Goose on the screen. Where the fuck is he? Is he over here? Uh, in the oh, bottom yeah, okay, there he is. Yeah, left. There he is. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Skykeeper, should we continue providing cover for Mother Goose One? Of course. So we're still providing cover for Mother Goose One, even though we're not sure if the president is alive. I mean, that does seem like a safe bet. <laughs> Ooh, Peanut says 100,000 bits if you save the president and sing everything you say for the rest of the stream. Uh, how much money is 100,000 bits? <laughs> uh, well, it's a cent a bit, so. Okay, so that's what. Right. Don't ask me to do math, man. Once again, you're the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond! Mr. Harling, please respond! We can't protect our objective if this sticks around here. An SSD Conqueror cheered 201 Shlim Shlams. Nice. And says, as a USMC vet, I'm biased as hell. Also, hold the Y or triangle button to have the camera focus on your target. Hold the Y triangle. Oh my god! Oh wait, sorry, I gotta do something. Something about the president, there's UAVs all around him. Okay, I'll save the president real quick. And then you'll go. Did I need that? And exit combat airspace. Okay, I got him. I got him. That's fine. One. Oh, fuck! Oh. Oh my god. Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mitch Two fired that. No, I didn't. A friendly missile. No, oh. no. My god. Let's not jump to conclusions here, friends. Friendly fire. I saw it. You shot him? Oh my god. Uh, the musical theme going on right now is much more than five. Which I know is the wrong reaction to have when I've just killed the president, former president. You didn't, you didn't kill him. I know. You were, you're my witness. How many people watched this stream? 43. So we got 43 witnesses, but I did not kill the, the, the president. I mean, you did shoot a missile in that direction. Yeah, but... Yeah, I will have you know, Mark, that yeah. you have now just lost us over a thousand dollars worth of Schlim Schlam. <laughs> That's what uh, Lee Harvey Oswald said spotted, too when he got the mission is over. and Stay out got enemy radar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, use of weaponry is... Yeah. I think most presidential assassinations are just Twitch streams gone bad. That explains a lot. It does. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, Twitch was a thing back then. Actually, the who's the guy who <laughs> President Harling has failed? Sadly, Fuck, I should know this. No hope he survived. Um, Why have I forgotten? Goof, you are suspected yeah. of oh, was an actor. President. There will be an inquiry. Larissa, <laughs> you're an actor, aren't you? A court martial. Hmm. I think I've been framed. What are you implying here? I don't know. But the point is, got the president killed, or, you know, was just around when someone killed the president. We don't know exactly what happened. And now I can't fly for a while. There's going to be a court martial. This is kind of bullshit. But I've unlocked yep. a new emblem, so it's all good. And Nathan B. did fulfill his promise of the five shlum slams if he failed, so. Oh, so it all worked out. Okay, I did uh, play a couple more missions, so we're going to do, like, up to the point where I made it, and then we'll go after. You, you get what's going on here. It's fine. I don't need to yeah. explain it. All right, mission five. Logic right, took me to cheers a hundred slim slams as consolation bits for bail money. The new guy was found guilty. Oh. Bail money. I do need that money. Union peacekeeping forces court martial. 
He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. <laughs> I specifically asked His my jailer not to be triggered. introducing me this way, now, but whatever. As of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely a prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. Switch off the alarm, it's just the usual? I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Solitary. No mini -tap. Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Also, I'm slightly some of those piles of junk can at least might not take play off. because I've already done the missions. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. Oh. We'll start with Harley. I can't remember murder. if there was a cinematic before this one. We don't expect you to down any bombs. I don't know. There might have been. But what we I do apologize. want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. In fact, yeah, shit, I think we did miss a cinematic. God damn it, that sucks. Oh, that really does suck. Um, your voice is still really, really quiet. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll just move my mic closer. Ah! Okay. Sorry, folks. Oh, shit. Wait, I can do this. Don't worry, I can do this. <laughs> but can you do this? Uh, a lot of the mics right in front of my face. Is this any better? I feel like this should be really good. It sounds marginally better. Okay. I think you're gonna have to go to your settings on OBS or something. Do you think I should right now? Yeah. Ah, bad. Okay. God damn it! I'll be back, folks. Sorry about this. Carry the stream, Larry. Carry the stream. Oh my god! So all this pressure all of a sudden. Hi, folks. Hi. How you doing? So, uh, what do you guys think of that last mission? Do you actually think Mark is a murderer? Or Mark Dur A A on EGV says Mark Durer. I like it. Morgan Pham says, This is why you don't let Mark fly. Hmm. I mean, last time I went on a plane with Mark, he got all, like, queasy. Because he doesn't go on the plane very often. I was and not queasy, I was scared. <laughs> Same diff. Okay. Uh, Damo13579 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Is there a way to, like, redo the cinematics? I'm going to quit the mission yes. real quick and see if I can. Somebody mentioned that there is a, a movie viewer. Okay, I don't know if that. that's one that's unlocked at the <laughs> end of... Data viewer? Oh, previously seen movies. Okay, that's good. Uh, scene viewer. Yeah. Uh, yes. Right? Yeah, this is gonna work. Have we seen this? But wait. Have we, okay, I'll just play this movie. We'll see what happens. Are you watching? The world was screwed. I am watching. Okay. Twenty years ago. The Have we seen this one before? Slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees I think so. The Republic, okay. The biggest country on the continent. Should we watch it anyways? Plunging it into chaos. They were desperate. No. And started a war. <laughs> One they had no hope. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't make sense because that's mission three. This is mission four. All right, mission four. I know for sure you haven't seen this one. Here he comes. Wait, no, we haven't seen this one either, have we? God damn it. No, we've seen this one. We've seen this one? Yeah. Is there like a wiki? Because there's, there's the old guy and his daughters are like taking care of him, but he's like the best pilot, so he keeps flying. Oh shit. We did watch. Okay, I have no idea what the hell movie. I wish like the numbers in front of the movie should correspond 
to things. Okay, let's watch this one and just hope we're in the, getting this in the right order. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy. Ah, fuck it. I don't think we're supposed to watch this movie yet. I'm gonna play that mission, and then we'll see what happens. How about that? <laughs> okay. But in the meantime, somebody should go to Wikipedia and figure out when the movies play, because that's uh, annoying. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're on mission number five. Wait, mission number five. Maybe it does correspond. Fuck it. Although, if you do want to look up that stuff on Wikipedia, that would be helpful. And I'll just skip through the briefing again. That's what I'm again. doing! Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah! I thought you were watching my stream, but whatever. Well, I can do both. You better do both immediately. Alright, alright, let's do <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, uh, okay. See, this is where I got confused. I mean, Before Chad I was... was saying that 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 fifth move, that fifth entry, was the, actually the right one. Really? Okay, let's go watch that fifth movie again. But first, I can see where you got confused, Larissa, because I said, well, you must have thought that I said my favorite plane was the Su-30 M2, when really my favorite plane is the Su-30 SM. So, easy mistake to make. Yeah, right? but you also said it's the Su-33 or the Su-40, whatever. Yeah, I love the Su-33. It's my favorite plane. I've always said that. What's your What's your point? Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to do that cinematic viewer for the right video this time. And then everyone's going to be fine, and no one will make fun of me ever again. All right, you ready? Got popcorn? So ready? Not ready. Okay, there's no, no time. We're, go we're going to die. Aw. <clears throat> Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day, they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went. Day after day after day. Today they toss someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. He didn't kill the president. I know that much. My dad died flying for the Russian <laughs> Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job, and one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. God, that's a good flag. The news nearly broke me. All the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. The president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason How I had to I go forget? live with my grandpa. <laughs> And why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. 
It reeks. I actually got a fake lies bullshit scented candle earlier, so. Oh yeah, what does it smell like? Eh, jet fuel. Oh, okay. Wait, I, didn't I figured it would have smelled like. My bad. Sorry, you figured it would have smelled like what? It would. It would smell like shit. Oh. You know, bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that probably would make yeah. more sense. It would make more sense, but you know, <clears throat> I guess it's just a stylistic choice. Yeah, I'm gonna complain about some story stuff here. You ready? Okay, complain away. Okay, so penal units and aircraft makes no fucking sense because generally you don't want to put criminals All right, in command of I'll airplanes that would have juicy. missiles and stuff on yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I really liked the explanation that they were only there to like have a fake air base and they were just using the criminals to. Um, like, rev the engines on the tarmac for the heat signatures and all that. I thought that was actually super smart. But now that we're actually going up in our super fancy planes and killing people, like, I, I don't buy it. So, uh, as an act of protest, I'm going to fly the worst plane that we got, the F-104 <laughs> Starfighter. I mean, it makes sense from a lore perspective. Yes. And really, that's, like, the most important. Exactly. And I was, I like, I, I'm going to take it back. I don't want to insult the, the uh, F-104 too much, because it is super cool looking. Um, apparently, they were super dangerous to fly. It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. I might be getting this wrong, mm -hmm. but I think they sold a bunch to Germany, and then the Germans weren't a fan. <laughs> All right. um, Henderson just subscribed. Ooh. Logically, 22 gives us another 100 slum slams. Thank you. Um, and also says, but they still have real missiles, and I still don't see any reason they wouldn't defect with them, which I think is exactly your complaint. Yeah, I mean, uh... Follow orders, Trigger. Sorry, we got a cinematic. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Spare Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. <laughs> yeah, All you have people taking off, off. on the runway. Just being like, fuck you, tower. I'll do what I want. Generally, <laughs> that's not how you want an airport to be run. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you put criminals into a very expensive plane. Yeah. Also, I love my plane just looking like shit compared to all these, like, super modern jets. Alright, my new call sign is Spare 15. Your spare? Yep. One thing, one detail I do like um, is the worse your crime, the more strikes you get on your tail fin here. And I got three strikes. My god. Will that come into play later in the storyline? Maybe. Maybe. I'm also not allowed to shoot my weapons. You can't shoot your weapons. Oh. Yeah. Only flares. Okay. So I'll just ram the enemy. It's your most Im uh, it's your most successful tech. Ah, oh, I missed him. Okay. Let's try that again. Now my squadmates are talking about me. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'll just fly around. And... I says the conqueror says there's probably a kill switch. Mr. Falcon Fly mentioned it. Well, but I mean, I could just point this at the control tower and kill everybody, and it wouldn't matter if they blew up my plane. I'd still eventually hit them, right? Yeah. Probably. Oh yeah. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. Okay, whatever. Still can't shoot any weapons here. So I'll just try and actually get... We flew in on this, right? Sorry? Yeah, we flew in on this, right? That, you know... The piece uh, of the I think the assumption is that the enemy is a bunch of idiots. Dangerous assumption. Yeah. Alright, I'll just keep going around. Not really sure what to do here. The enemy hit the control tower. Maybe we should be shooting them, you know? Uh, yeah. I, I like the whole plan just seems dumb. We're gonna make a fake airbase <laughs> and then trick the people into bombing it because there's no actual shit there. But now that they're bombing it, we need actual shit to defend the fake airbase. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I guess some people want to make it out alive and are pretending to be real military people. I guess. Okay, now we're clear to engage. So, now that the fake airbase is doing its job, everyone's very upset. And now we gotta shoot down these bombs. <laughs> so, they did send you up with a loaded magazine. Yeah, what? they did give us a bunch of missiles and bombs and whatnot. <laughs> but why? <laughs> they made me pinky promise not to use them. Is this the same people that they were like, No, you have to go on the runway in this order! Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... God damn it! Like, I'm not buying this part of the storyline. Um, there is something that might explain this, maybe, if you buy into it. Um, which is that, you'll recall that, uh, Strangefield got hit by a bunch of, um, asteroids and whatnot. Okay. Some people have speculated, um, that, like, a ton of people died, and the planet right now is, like, super underpopulated. Oops, the planet right there. Um... Combined with the fact that you have, like, 3D printing and other stuff, um, the idea is that planes are really cheap, but pilots are super rare. Oh, uh, okay. So if you buy into that theory, then it would make sense that maybe they'd even use convicts to fly, because they're just so desperate. But if they're that desperate, then why the whole fake air... I don't know. That's, that's, that's an argument. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah. I mean, I still don't think you want criminals in airplanes. But yeah, it's just the risks are so high. Yeah. Oh, the scratches Julius Kaiser are says, if they're so desperate, why not just use drones? Well, they I mean, are. The are. Yeah. That's a thematic element in this story that I like to call Ace Combat 7. You like... <clears throat> <laughs> nice. You like to call Ace Combat 7 Ace Combat 7? I do. It's just one of my quirks. Okay. That's that's really funny that you do that. Yeah. You know, I just, I like to, I, I'm a wild guy, you know? People are always saying yeah. how crazy I am. Crazy. I actually can't stand people who call themselves crazy, like genuinely. Ooh, I'm so crazy. Well, I guess that means you don't like me. Ugh. No, I don't, if you call yourself crazy. Yeah. The real crazy people don't know they're crazy. Or they do know they're crazy and just lean into it. Yeah. I think they use it as an excuse for personality or whatever. Wait, okay, here we go. Ah, fuck you, Mc29. Look how good I am. I don't think we've been properly expressing how great I am at this game. I mean, you are significantly better than the last time I watched you play. Wait, really? Yeah. I'm gonna take that as a I mean, compliment. you're actually like, you're actually like, turning around and getting an angle on people. Well, keep in mind, this is not multiplayer. If we went to multiplayer, it would probably be as bad as last time. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, when I was getting the whole streaming setup going today, I was debating starting up with multiplayer, so I started a quick game just to see how good I still am, and the answer is not very good at all. <laughs> so that's why we're playing single player. Yep. But, I mean, despite how good you are, you still murdered the president. You know, you murder one president and people just keep bringing it up. <laughs> I also learned how to bake, but does anyone bring that up? No. Well, I mean, everybody can learn how to break, to bake. Not everybody can learn how to murder a president. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you can, you can focus on the bad things I've done in my life, sure, or we can look for the positives. <laughs> no one talks about all the presidents I didn't kill. <laughs> yeah, look at Trigger go. I am so fucking good. Don't you mean spare 15? Ooh, that's a low blow. Fuck, I, can't I don't do this think guy. it is. Come on, you MiG 29. MiG 29? Probably my favorite plane. <laughs> the wind says, You baked the president alive. That's, that is, that is harsh. I mean, that is a form of faking. Alright. We got one more bomber. This is a TU-95. A bear, if you will. Oh, shit. I wouldn't. Oh, I just caught up with that. Oh. 
And that wasn't me making some weird reference. Uh, the TU-95s er, TU are called bears. So. Oh god, now there's more bombers coming? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Also, the banter with my squadron members is kind of, uh, I like it. They all just hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they find a reason to like each other, right? Yeah. Spare seven, shut up. I love it. <laughs> also, the guy who's the gambler kind of sounds like uh, Christian Slater. Is it Christian Slater? I doubt it. He's too busy being uh, a robot. Do you know what? I robot? <laughs> yes, I know I robot. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Christian Slater was sunny because I'm. Sunny. Wait, uh, who am I saying? Slater? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I was I was distracted by this amazing performance of mine. Still Keep up the attack. Sorry, we were talking about Christian Slater. Yeah. And what about him? He's good. I don't think he's in iRobot. Yeah, he is. Wait, am I saying I Robot? I, I meant yes. Mr. Robot, the, the show that he's <laughs> okay. an actor in. That makes way more sense. <laughs> oh God, Who that's the real reason I'm in prison. <laughs> Wait, but then have you seen Mr. Robot? I haven't. Oh, okay. Because if you had, I would have demanded to know why you didn't immediately correct me. Actually, because I kept thinking you were like, he's a robot in iRobot. Yeah, but the only real robot character is Alan Tudyk. That's true. I'm glad you brought that up. Do you know what uh, Christian Slater's uh, first movie was? I'm sure you'll tell me. Star Trek VI. Really? Yeah, because his mom or aunt or somebody was the casting director. Oh, nepotism at yeah. work. But uh, when I was in film school, I had this ongoing joke that in the super serious film studies class with the professor who took it super seriously, I would always use Star Trek VI as a reference to everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are, are you not impressed with my Star Trek knowledge? I'm super impressed. Just, it doesn't sound like it. Apparently, the gambler is voiced by Steve Blum. Oh, really? I know Steve Blum. He's like every stormtrooper since uh, sequels came out. Alright, alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, where am I going? One plane left. Where? Oh, there he is. Okay, I got you. I got you. Sorry, what was that? I said, I said do it. Oh, okay. Missile in the air. Heads up. Ah, it's very far away. But I have one advantage. I have a jet engine attached to my plane. They said it would never Isn't come in handy. Just a gen Isn't your plane just a jet engine? Yes, that is also true. All right, I'm getting behind him. <laughs> Fuck you, plane! It's a jet engine with a couple of wings on it. Yeah! I have oh, saved the fake the base that we wanted to get bombed. Yeah, hell yeah. Still alive, huh? Yay! All right. I'm, I'm a hero. RTB. I will RTB. Do you have to RTV yourself? I don't know. But I guess uh, High Roller is going to really like you now because you ended up giving yeah. him a whole bunch of money. So I'll just land real quick or something. I feel like they're not supposed to. Oh, That's okay. really quick. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, what was the uh, outcome of that poll? Was I bad enough? To it was hell yeah. Oh, okay. Well, chat was wrong. 
Yeah, I guess so. You know, normally I would not land because it's boring, but I, I feel like I can do a good job. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, yeah, whoops, my bad. Lower your nose. You're too high. How do you land? Not like that. <laughs> oh, fuck, did I fail the mission? <laughs> oh! Looks like I won. Oh! If I have to redo that, I'm going to be very upset. That was supposed to be a joke. But I've already beaten the mission, so it's fine. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, should, I, should, I, should, I, should I try to land again? Yeah. <laughs> or I could do the thing in Wing Commander, in the movie with that guy, and then, like, do the thing and... <sighs> it's a good landing there, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep it going. Keep it going. Did I say you could take down the enemy? Nathan you Beach here, fifteen slim slams, and says you failed, kind of. I, I don't get this. It's like take down the enemy. They're bombing the the base, and then this guy's like, "Did I tell you you could take down the enemy? You're going into solitary." But you did tell me I could take down the enemy. So what the fuck? Yeah, you gave him the weapons free. Yeah. Like, this guy's a jerk. He is a jerk. All right, next cinematic coming up. You ready? So ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Data viewer. Uh, scene viewer. Number six. The rose emblem. <gasps> this is the one with the dog. Larry, the dogs. there's a sad story here. Um, uh, does it require context, or yes. should I just watch the... Well, I'm about to give you the context. Okay, okay. okay. Jesus. Okay, so... Um, this dog was in the trailer, and everyone made fun of the dog because <laughs> because <laughs> everything else in the scene is so perfectly animated and modeled and rendered, whereas the dog <laughs> is just a photo of a dog <laughs> that they put in here. It's just like a, a JPEG that someone's cut out. But the reason it is that because it was one of the designer's dogs, and he sadly died before Aww. the game came out. Oops. But uh, one of the best one of the best tweets I saw was just a photo of the dog, and it's like, hey, we need you to model a dog, and it's just like, ah, uh, I only do airplanes, but okay. So anyways, <laughs> now we're gonna go to the dog cinematic. Mihai's granddaughters like to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. I, I, I get really bothered whenever people refer to air. young girls as creatures. It never sounds that great, but he is a scientist. So. A relic from a nation that was long ago. Yeah. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them. Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shalaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aon Ignatius that is Rafael a hell of a Maria name. Nikitas A. Shalaji. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy Ow. of Shalaji. Then, Revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Erujian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot. When the royal family was ousted and Erujia became a republic, 
he continued his service for the new regime. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was in fact the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline. Such a well-behaved dog. For, the one to restore the monarchy. She's not even breathing. This new that's, princess that's so was truly mean. a godsend for the Arugian oh. people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden. Even from me. They're doing um, the thing that Ace Combat 4 did, where they're uh, humanizing the enemy. Right. Which uh, I like, but I don't think they're doing it as effectively this time around. Uh, I mean, Mihai seems fine, but it's the scientist that's creepy. <laughs> Such lovely creatures. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> All right, mission six, I think. Yeah, here we go. Long day. Yeah. Tell me about it, brother. Cool interface. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of something, you know? Think they ripped it off from us? Yeah, I think so. First. I want you to head from the base to the desert region. Also, somebody mentioned um, Pablo Picasso has also has a really long name, so I looked it up. Yeah? Can you read for this? Okay. Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Nepo Muncino Maria de los Ramirios Cipriano de la Santissima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso. I put a whole bunch of that, but... Yep. I guess that's why they call him Pablo. Also... For this, mission, this mission isn't sounding too great. We're going to go in as a suicide squad, some kind of suicide squad, and then get shot down, and then they'll send However, in the actual Air Force. For you guys. Only hmm. the Why? Because they don't care about us. Even if you, run out you know, of I'm ammo, starting to think this penal unit's a bit of a raw deal. You stay out there as I think you might be right. But, I mean, why are you decoys? What's the hope here? Uh... They're going to waste all their ammo shooting down the prisoners, and then the regular Air Force will do it better or something? Uh, I think that's the, the Sounds like they don't have a lot of faith in their Air Force. I, I don't know what their thinking is. It actually... I don't know. I hope the, the writing improves slightly. I'm not saying it's bad. Like, it's it's no worse than half the other stuff you see, but this uh, this jailer just seems to have no regard for human life whatsoever. Yeah, he does seem a little sociopathic. Yeah, like, I can't believe that every single guy who runs a prison is like, all right, you worthless people who I have no respect for. You know? Well, I mean, not at first, anyway. Yeah. Have you seen that uh, the documentary about that prison in the prison experiment in the 70s? No, but I'm meaning to. That's the one where, like, the guards became jerks. Yeah, like, they were just university students, and yeah. they ended up like, Welcome. totally thinking that their classmates were absolute scum. It was insane. The like, former best friends. Really? Yeah. It Although, crazy. you know, university students aren't the best gauge for mental health. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, so, I'm attacking these ground targets, such as this very expensive gas tank. Oh, I almost... Very, very good plan. I missed it. All right, here we go. Logically, logically, 22 says 500 bits if Mark survives the mission and can land safely. And I got to land safely? 
Yep, that is a provision. Ah, uh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. All right, I hit it. Oh, so you're seven. The circle out the locations. Some of their powers or their threat levels vary. The happy face says, "Find safely." I mean, I guess if you can get out of the plane at the end of it. When the uh, wait, wait. Ah, oh yeah, look at that. Um, I used guns. The rest of you happy? I am happy. Although I, I don't know within the context of the game, but in the mission they're like, if you run out of ammo, you know, fly off screen and you'll get more more weapons. But that's not for you guys in the penal unit. But I think they are saying that for the benefit of me, a guy in the penal unit. Like, gameplay-wise, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it does seem strange. But, I mean, you gotta stop wasting ammo. Well... I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Killing lots of oil barracks or, or oil, yeah, oil derricks. Some airplanes from time to time. All right, all right, here we go. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's fine. I'm just flying through enemy fire like a total awesome guy. Mobius243 says one of the collectible medals is to complete this mission without resupplying. Really? Okay. I'm gonna assume that's correct. But I'm not allowed to resupply because I'm in the penal unit, so... Yeah, but I guess, like, you can anyway? Yeah. Or is I mean, the mechanic showing up oh. on your map? I got I got hit by a missile. Oh. Alright, whatever. It's whatever. I gotta shoot up some trucks. That always makes me feel better. Yeah, fuck those. Ah. Oh, got a hit. I got hit again. Ah, oh, I fucked that big time. I didn't think that missile was going to hit me, but I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I mean, you were traveling in a straight line. Yeah, with no maneuvers whatsoever. Yeah. I might need to <laughs> restart this mission, because I'm not doing very well. Yeah, you've only got 66% damage. You're fine. Okay, so I can afford to get hit one more time. Yep. The DGA says, I loaded the F in the torpedo bay, just waiting for orders. You know, unless that's <laughs> F for... For he's a jolly good fellow, you know. Oh fuck, missile. Ah, okay. You know, I'm just giving the enemy team a fair chance here, because obviously I'm that right. good. Oh, right. ah, shit. 99% damaged. Ooh. Should I restart now? It feels like this isn't gonna go well for me. No, no. You must see it through to the end. No quitting. Okay, fine. But I'm flying under protest. Okay, noted. I mean, you're kind of doing it anyway because you're a prisoner. That's true. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah! I'm Now I'm on top of things. Taking down F-16s. Although this means that if I even get hit by, like, one stray AA shell, I'm going to blow up immediately. Yeah. have to redo the mission. Olden Man says, channel your inner maverick. But I'm Iceman. Either way, you're on the highway to the danger zone. What movie is that from? Is that from uh, Ghostbusters 2? Yeah. Okay. I really hope you're joking. I am. Because I'm a comedy okay. genius. All right, here we go. Here what? we go. You need to prove it. What movie is that from? Uh. Can't get a visual the final countdown? <laughs> How about us the to stop Red Tails? <laughs> Iron Eagle 2. Why are you doing this to me? Those are the only movies about planes I know. Really? Oh, Flight of the Intruder. <laughs> right? Uh. Also, I really wish my plane slowly repaired, you know? I, I don't think your plane has nag technology. They do in Battlefield 5, and that's World War 2, so... That doesn't seem very realistic. You don't seem very realistic. Well, I mean, I am an AI. What? All right, here we go, here we go. Look at this, I'm still not dead. Logically22 says, Mark's old, he should know the movie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I remain I mean, a uh, spring chicken or whatever the phrase is. Only old people say that. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Oh no! <sighs> there was
There was nothing I could have done. Nope, nothing at all. God damn it. Okay, all right, all right. SF to pay respect. All right. Nope, this time it's going to be great. Blow the shit out of everything. That sounds like a good idea. Regular forces will reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Two planes taken off. I'm gonna get them on the runway. It's Pearl Harbor, motherfuckers! Except this is a completely different planet. Yeah. So transport truck spotted. Not a threat. But feel free to take them out. You missed. No, I did miss. How'd that happen? Ah. You're hitting three locations. Some of air power, so their threat levels vary. Where did F-16 go? Ah, oh, go after this. This one. There we go. There we go. If you die too fast, you won't even be useful as targets. If I die too fast, I won't even be useful as a target. That's what they keep saying in my job interviews. I don't understand why. Are you actually a penal? Ah, you missed. I did. You know, you could be more supportive, ma'am. I could be. <laughs> but I mean, where's the fun in that? I... Well, how do we know there's no fun at all? Like, we've never, we've never tried it. <laughs> it's like, God damn, this F-16. He's really, uh... Like, they keep going on about how I'm not allowed to use the resupply, but I'm pretty sure if I tried, I could use the resupply. Oh, you probably could. Yeah. All right. But they're just telling you to convince you to do it. <laughs> they're daring me to do it, reverse psychology? You're too much yeah, of exactly. a convict to use the resupply. I'd like to see you even try. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, there we go. There we go. That's looking good. Trigger, you're rocking it hard. I sure am rocking it hard, ma'am. I mean, sir. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, can I get behind this plane as it takes off? Yes, I can. Look at that. Can you shoot it? Oh, no, not enough. It's still alive. That's so frustrating. Oh. But it looked cool, right? Now I'm on him again. Aha. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I mean, this channel uh, squadron seems to be doing pretty well, actually. Yeah, not bad for guys whose job it is to die. Yeah. I was in a penal unit at a grocery store once. How does that work? They were like, "You're only here to load some of the bags until the regular bag boys can come in." If you die, don't. I don't know. This joke's going somewhere. I don't know why. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Look at well I'm doing. Larissa, look. Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you weren't looking. Very nice, honey. Larissa. <laughs> all right. To U60. This breaks my heart because these planes look awesome. But are they your favorite? Uh, no. Okay. Mandarin that wants to know what you did to become a penal All unit in the store. Destroyed. Actually, um, was it the time that you spilled chocolate fondue everywhere? <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> but uh, I, I worked at this um, the specialty high-end grocery store. That's not like a weird flex, okay? That's just like <laughs> it is a weird flex, but no, okay. like I wasn't paid any better than any other grocery store. It was just the one that happened to be the one that hired me. Maybe that is a flex. I don't know. The point is, um, the wife of the owner of the chain. I was helping her out one day, and uh, so wait, are you telling me that you killed the president of the grocery store chain? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting attacked by UAVs, and I shot him. <laughs> Uh, no, his wife was, uh, I was taking out the groceries for, for his wife, and, um, their car had automatic, uh, like, door opener things, you know, like, electronic doors, or whatever, on, like, a minivan uh -huh. type thing. 
Um, and I tried to manually close it, and I wasn't supposed to, and I kind of, like... I don't think I broke it. I just put some strain on it. You broke it. I, I'm i sure it works. She drove home, so it's not like it didn't close. But you broke it. No. I only broke her heart. <laughs> well, what else were you up to? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I don't like where Thanks this conversation's the... going. <laughs> Thanks for the 101 Schlimmschlams, Assisty Conquer. Is that the same guy who gave 201 earlier? Yes. Is he just trying to, like, one-up everybody, betting on that extra Schlim Schlam? I think so. I mean, he is leading the Twitch bit donation. Okay. What's that game show where you have to guess how much stuff is costs? The price is right? Yeah. And, like, the strategy is to always just put... Oh, check out this bridge. I'm going to blow up this bridge. It's going to be super cool. See that? Ah. Did it look cool? Okay, now I saw it. Okay. But, like, what were you saying? Uh, I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> Larissa, you shouldn't be talking to me when I'm driving. <laughs> I was doing so well. Oh. Why did you let that happen? God, I hope I broke a checkpoint. Fuck, I didn't. I'm not loving this. Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize that the base sucks. first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. Transport truck spotted. They're not a threat, but feel free to take them out. Alright, this time I'm gonna come from these planes from behind. Then we'll see who can't shoot down planes. Yeah, just like that. Fuck, I missed again. God damn it, these F-16s. That was kind of cool. I'm, I'm so... <laughs> Larissa, I'm sorry. I know you are. <sighs> the Golden Sky Cat says, Mark attacked the canyon because it was looking at him first. Yeah. God damn it. My heart is broken. Oh. But is it as broken as your grocery store owner's wife? Hey, you know what? I hit a cliff. That's kind of fuck you, it's Friday related. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not entirely inaccurate. So... Maybe I'm just fulfilling my destiny. Maybe. Maybe. Although I am annoyed that this is the um, third time I'm having to do this mission. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wait, no, this is the second one. Is it? I thought I didn't. I no, I. This is the third time. Cause remember, like I got 99% damage that first time. Oh right, yes. I don't know why I'm reminding you of that, but apparently I am. <laughs> yeah, no. Well. Is what it is. And uh, Nathan B1313 gave us 100 slim slams for the last time you died, and uh. also we got to go. So bye. Thanks for joining. And thanks for the Slim Slams, which you gave me for being great, no matter what reason you actually said. <laughs> Make the happy face says, Fuck you, I'm flying into a cliff Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, TU60, let's do this. Come on, I'm coming up on ya. Get fucked, sir. Yeah, there we go. At least that looks cool. Oh god, if I crash one more time, I am gonna be very upset. Yeah, I'll be very upset too, because then you'll just waste it all my time. I could have been making sourdough and then not giving it to Mark. Yeah, oh, I forgot to feed my sourdough starter. Oh, that sucks. Thanks for <laughs> You're welcome. DGA says two designation F torpedoes have been fired. Should I load another one? No. Stop loading the torpedoes <laughs> before the order's been given. A bomber has taken off. Uh, I would say, load the torpedoes. Don't load- damn the torpedoes! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's fucking blow up this fucking oil tank. The bomber's getting away. <sighs> Chase it down like you mean it, morons. 
Wait, I'm supposed to attack a bomber? He called me a moron! Ha ha! Alright, bomber, where are you? Like playing whack a mole in the dark, he said. I mean, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Whack a mole's harder in the dark, I guess. I don't know. Alright, Ooh, Mobius243 says if Mark is up for the challenge, there's a tunnel he can fly through. Uh, no. Aw, oh, come after on. The, after the first checkpoint, yes. I, somebody mentioned that there isn't actually a checkpoint here. Really? Well, they, they specifically said something along the lines of Annihilation Missions tend to not have a checkpoint. Oh. Yeah, you might be right. Okay. Got a hit, that's something. Right, right? Yeah. The rest of this time I'm doing a good job over and over and over You're again. You're doing a pause. wonderful job. You're doing a wonderful job. And Cap Face says, Precision, precision fly. And then Tales of a Caliber replies with, Precisely flying into walls, you mean? It, that does take precision. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep this moving. Oh, I got that line of trucks that I can strafe. That'll be cool. The walls right. clearly jumped out into his way, says Urban Man. They did. This guy gets it. Oh. By the way, folks in chat, we've had some new sponsors. Uh, sponsor images loaded up into our little uh, UI here. Have yeah, you they seen up? them? Don't they look awesome? Yes, they're. I, I see them. They're One awesome. of them is game related. Yeah, see if you can spot it. Bonus points to the people who see. I wish we were actually sponsored by them. I feel like some of those places would give really good money. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably not the Inquisition. I bet they'd be cheap. Yeah. Well, they'd, they'd just be, like, saying, how dare you charge us? Heresy! And then kill us, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. You want profit above the Emperor? Well, fuck you, guy. I am not paying. <laughs> <laughs> yep, basically. All right, I... I 22 says, I refuse to believe that Quark actually paid you anything. Well, he said he's good for it. Nah. I don't think you should trust him. Probably not, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm using guns. You ready? You watching this? I'm so ready. When will they be in range? There we go. So ready. Look at that. Look at that! Yay! I'm the best guy, but I'm going to avoid canyons just for no reason. <laughs> no reason at all. Wait, I heard about I didn't catch the gambling guy was saying. What are we betting on? How great I am? Uh, I, I'm, I missed that myself. You know what bothers me? What? You know at the end of incoming episodes where I like, I always say stuff like, I'm incapable of error. You know that whole thing? Or incapable of error? Yeah. yeah. People keep taking that seriously. I know! And they keep saying, oh, the arrogance of that guy. Clearly they haven't seen these streams. <laughs> Alright, I am taking out shit. You ah, fuck! Possibly be wrong. That's another good one that I stole from The Simpsons. Incapable of error is my own. Huh? Although it's just the basic like same it. premise. Yeah. Fuck you, warehouse! Spare 15, target destroyed. Yeah. Fuck you for having stuff in a warehouse. It's probably just full of, like, old Furbies they couldn't sell. Oh, creepy. Did you have a Furby? No, I didn't. Really? No, I had one of those Thai Beanie Baby things. Okay. I still have it, but I took off the tag immediately because I was like, Oh, it's a stuffed animal. I'm going to snuggle it. So it's worthless now. It's worthless now. Oh wait, something's happening. Know, I snuggled it. Uh, those drones are back, and they look angry. Drones. drones look angry, glowering and stuff. Am I supposed to shoot them down, do you think? Ah. They can dogfight with a pilot? I find that offensive too, actually. 
I mean, there are pilots. Yeah, they're just sitting in some computer lab somewhere. Drinking exactly. coke. Alright, you fucker. Bullock wants to know what the objective of this mission is. Um, I gotta destroy, I think, 17,000 points worth of shit. It says in the, the top right, or top left. Yeah, I don't think Bullwick actually has image. Yeah, there we go. Wait, Bullwick doesn't have image? Yeah, I think he's just listening. He's listening to this as a podcast? <laughs> I guess so. Best way to do it. I'm using my new special missiles. Oh, they, they worked. Look at that. What? What a shot. Oh, except that one I wasted. Shit, okay. Don't use them at super close range. That lesson is learned. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah. I guess I should go back to shooting down the warehouses. They're more my speed. As in stationary? Yes. No speed? Correct. <laughs> yeah. All right. Communist now. wizard says these UAVs are AI. Plot oh yeah, I guess that's right. Oh yeah, because they're stu they're right, studying the neurological. Yeah. They were studying the yeah. I can't remember his name. Maeve or something? <laughs> Mahavi? Uh, Molly? Ma Molly? Uh, like Molly from Star Wars Explained is also in Ace Combat 7. <laughs> as the grizzled veteran and former prince of some country. Yeah. Oh, Molly from Star Wars Explained. I'll shoot her down yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, goddamn this thing. Where the fuck is it? I'll have to go somewhere. Shit, I only got five minutes. Am I gonna make it? I don't know. Bullwick is saying he kept running out of time in this mission. So. Um, okay. Well, I'll try extra hard. Don't have a lot of time. You still gotta get another 7,000 points. Really? Ha! Huh. Here's something funny. Logically22 says, We'll have to go with the Discord because Mark is an AI, so there's that. Uh -huh. And then Plumplin Bot auto posted a link to our Discord server right after. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Templin Bot and I went to the same academy growing up. Yeah? Yeah. I've heard that Templin Bot's a bit of a jerk, but it's like kind hearted. Well. Nah, Templin Bot is a jerk. He's always like misinterpreting things and taking offense and, you know, one of those guys. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I'm doing some good. You got four minutes left, by Yeah, the way. I'm going as fast as I can, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Well, I think you could be doing better. I know, Larissa, I'm sorry. Where the fuck is this F 16? Right in front of me. God, yeah, yeah, son of a bitch. I have you now. Yeah, okay. Bullock wants to know if this is hard difficulty. Uh, I think I'm doing normal. Like a jump. Well, I didn't want to... do normal. Ah, fuck you. There we go. Nope, I missed him. I feel like I am going to run out of time here. This sucks. Wow, it's minutes. Okay. I got a bit of time. You could go after the solar panels. I'm going after the Grippins, because I hate those planes. But the Eurasians the Eurasians were like, we've got three days worth of energy stored in those, those solar panels. How many points are they worth? I, I don't know. I'm assuming a lot because they bothered to mention it. Okay. Well, I'm so close. I can maybe do this. Two thousand more points. Two and a half minutes. The base, destroy the base for points, says Zed. Yeah, I'm on it. I mean, again, stationary. That is more my speed, right? I mean, literally. <laughs> okay. There's some MIGs over there. No, I gotta stick with uh, the easy stuff. Yep. You're so close, you just need like 600 more points. Come on. <sighs> I'm scared. I don't know if I'm no. gonna make it. Yeah, you're getting like 145 men. Come on. 
Come on. Blow those bastards to hell. I'm back. trying, but I'm scared. You've done a fair amount That's of not an excuse. Oh, I think I did it. You did it. You're good. <gasps> With a minute and a half to go. Woo! So I'll just keep shooting stuff just to make sure we're, we're fine. Yeah. It's like, you know. Missile alert. Move. It's fine. <laughs> That's really just a suggestion. Right. I'm gonna go after planes though, because shooting warehouses is losing its uh, allure. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's blown up the toilet paper supply. What are we gonna do? Alright. I saw that tunnel earlier. I'm not gonna fly into it. You're not gonna do the tunnel? No. Especially not with, uh, you know. There hasn't been a checkpoint yet, but I've achieved the objective, and it just seems like a recipe for being blown up. <laughs> All right, things yeah. on the ground. I'm shooting bullets at them. Pew, 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 pew. And then I gave up, and immediately I'm shooting rockets or missiles, if you prefer. I mean, whichever is more accurate, right? Yeah. So how are you enjoying the Ace Combat experience so far? I'm enjoying it. I don't think I would want to play it myself, because I think I would just suck too hard. Yeah, I don't want you to play but... it either. <laughs> but it's fun to watch. Yeah. Okay. I did it! Enemy base enough. Hey. Is something bad going to happen? The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Well, I mean, you still have to land, right? Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. surprised if we're thrown in solitary, too. Hey, who wants to bet who goes into solitary? <laughs> who wants to bet? I like Gambler. That gambling nut job oh. Say if he was still here. Gambling guy died. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Oh. Rip. The AWOX is so mean. Do you know what AWOX stands for? That's not me just trying to prove how great I am. I actually don't know. I don't think I know either. Air wait, no, wait, I do know. Is it airborne early warning something? Airborne warning Airborne. Airborne warning and control system. Airborne warning. Okay, that makes sense. The best AWOX of Sky Eye from Ace Combat 4. You see lost cool claims, name. but the mission succeeded. Sky Eye. However, yeah. some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. You They're lost planes, but the mission solitary. succeeded. I mean, wasn't that kind Take of the them. point? Yeah, they're just going out of their way to say they hate us. <laughs> yeah. Which seems very rude. And also, you weren't allowed to resupply, but we re 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 resupplied you anyway, even it's though we knew. Like, it's, it's a weird way to introduce that mechanic very... in a game, you know? Yeah. All right, Geralt, here's another sword for sale. But you're not allowed to buy it. And if you do, you know, well, let's just I say... Okay, never mind. Something's happening. ingenuity in finding a use for you, cons. But just remember, if you disobey orders, there's a special How can I place forget, guy? You won't shut up about it. For you. Your so-called right to complain was forfeited the moment you chose to break the law. Actually, I didn't choose to break okay, the law. I accidentally broke the law. Big difference. <laughs> An Ocean Air Force squadron is currently entering Arusian territory for reconnaissance. Due to certain factors, their return route has been changed. The new return route will be through Yinshi Valley, a scenic and rocky karst area. Ooh. The enemy's radar. I've always wanted to visit Yinshi Valley. Hidden on the mountainside pose a I hear it's threat. beautiful this time of year. It is. It really is. Them get our guys out in one piece even if it puts your own lives in danger and it is important to remember they will send up interceptors if you're detected so you will need to choose something useful in a dogfight the weather won't be on your side but you're doing this whether you like it or not okay worry about the squadron's return bad weather not your enemy own. planes a bunch of rocks your what could go wrong is to get them back safely which I Not a whole lot could go wrong, to be honest. For your yeah. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Larissa, what do I do? I don't know. Just sneeze. Wait, it went away. This is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, Logically22 cheered 500 slim slams. Says, well, I didn't get a landing, but it was close enough. Yay! Okay. Oh, Larissa. 
I'm only what? two upgrades away from my favorite plane of all time, the Su-57, also known as the Pack FA. Pick a plane, man! Jesus. I did. The Su-57 is my favorite plane of all time. Yeah, but you said that about the 33. The 33? Yeah, the 33 is my favorite plane. What's your point? Oh my God. You gotta just pick something. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. You infuriate me. What? I'm being reasonable here. I don't know what you're going on about. Aircraft preparations complete. You're cleared to taxi. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I'm getting tired. So I see two people in your plane. Oh yeah, who's the other guy? Because this is a two-seater. Some random. <laughs> Maybe it's just like a dummy. Do you think he got blamed for uh, <laughs> like killing the president too? Ooh, I think he's stuck in there with you. Uh, I'm just the navigator. I don't actually shoot the missiles. Spare squadron. This mission needs you must have been in on it. <laughs> Target radar facilities. Your collaborator. They're set up on a rugged terrain, and there's a lot he's of uh, an accessory cover. to the crime. You will be near exactly. Man, you guys were born unlucky. Olden man says, somebody tell the rocks to get out of Mark's airspace. Yeah, what I'm very worried about is the lightning. Mm. I want to see you get hit by lightning. Oh, you uh, won't have to wait very long. Mm. Oh god, oh god. This is, seems very dangerous. Bullwick says, nah, your navigator killed the former vice president. <laughs> That's great. We need the job done on time. <laughs> also, I like this one pilot who's complimenting me. Oh, shit. Don't damage the planes. He's very inconsistent. He's like, I don't care if you die or not, but don't damage the planes. So if you're going to die, do it after you land. Like, you know? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Destruction of target facility. So that could have gone better. Yes, yes, it could have. But 66% of the plane is still fine. For now. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. Oh, you have eight and a half minutes left. Yeah! Wait, really? Only... Uh, why would you tell me that? Uh... Cause I... Oh, shit! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> oh... I'm scared. I don't think this is entirely safe. <laughs> what gave you that impression? I don't know. Like, look at this. I'm flying through soup. Oh, there's a cliff. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Alright, god <laughs> damn it. Also, this like, smooth jazz we got going on here is not really selling the... <laughs> ah! I screwed over your screaming. <sighs> But did you see that maneuver? I did see the maneuver. Oh, Jesus. That's all I know. You sure found out quick. They got a secret weapon, maybe? There's only so much I can Alright, I'm going out. after these Enough radar sites. And I'll fly through the storm clouds, because I feel like that's a great plan, you know? Well, it looks badass, and that's really the important thing. Shit, I missed. I feel like the people who are really anti-war and anti-military have a really tough time because there's literally nothing in the army that doesn't look awesome. Thunderclouds are common this time of year. Ugh, okay, there we go. Um, a buddy of mine was an aerospace engineer, and he was saying that a lot of the times when uh, the Air Force or whatever is picking out uh, a new replacement plane. Um, the rule of cool factors a lot more into the selection than you might think. Really? Yeah. Because um, you might have heard of the F-22, that's like the American plane everyone loves. It was in Transformers. Okay. Um, the uh, competitor to it was called the YF-23, I think. And it looks super stupid. Oh, fuck that. Ah. Have I told the story by the way? I don't think so. Okay. It doesn't sound familiar. Sorry, the, the wind is getting to me now. Um, yeah, the, the YF-23 um, looks super stupid. Oh, wait, am I thinking of the competitor to the F-35? Shit, I might be. The point is, there was a plane that looked stupid and a plane that looked cool, and the cool plane won. 
And apparently that was no accident. Keep destroying radar facilities. Okay, but which one was the better plane? Uh, I don't know. It was probably the F-22, because by all accounts, Aside it was amazing. Aside from cool. Yeah. I do know that if you look up photos of the YF-23, I'm pretty sure it's called. Is that the one I'm thinking of? I don't think it is. Shit. Because the YF-22, or the YF-23 was the competitor to the 22. But the one that looked really stupid, the YF-23 looked stupid too, but not as stupid as the other plane I'm thinking of, which it had the, um, the intake right under the cockpit. So it looked like it had this constantly smiling mouth, and it just, <laughs> like a fish or something. It was awful. Oh, I did something. What did you do? I don't know. I think I saved those guys we were trying to save. There they are. Leave this one to our friends. Oh, but what do you know? They're being pursued by drones. They look cool, though. Damn, they look cool. The drones? Uh, no, the F-15s. Ah. That's my favorite plane right there. The drones have jumped on the recon team. Our friends aren't equipped for air to air. They Actually, that's a lie. I feel like you're saying this just to piss me off. Four, 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 on that one, I was, because the F-15 is not really my favorite plane. SSD Conqueror says it's the X-32. The X-32, yeah. And that was the competitor to the F-35, right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, the good news is it's the so, checkpoint, so we're fine. So what have we learned? I've learned that don't get struck by lightning and then fly into a cliff. That's a, it's a good lesson. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I didn't need that to happen for me to know that was, like, a thing. <laughs> I... Jesus, it happened again! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. God damn it. I mean, your plane hasn't taken any damage. It just, like, screws up your electrical system. Yeah, and really throws me off and can't see my target anymore, but I know... Oh, there he goes. But, uh, I love that it's a game mechanic. They just threw in the scariest thing. Uh, imaginable. Yeah, they keep telling each other that you're a dumbass because you keep flying into the thundercloud. Yeah, could it be a badass? In every other Ace Combat game, if I was doing stuff like this, I'd be like, Wow, Trigger flew right into the lightning on purpose. He's the best pilot ever, but in this one, they're just like, What a moron who also sucks. <laughs> I mean, you killed the president. Allegedly, and former president. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ed Beaver says the lightning should only do damage the instant you land. Is that how that works? Well, I mean, lightning is just trying to get from the sky to the ground. So it goes the most efficient way to get to the ground. Well, I know they so say that about cars, right? That, like, if your car struck by lightning, you never step onto the ground, you gotta jump for it or something, right? Yeah, you right? can't. You can't. You have to go from, like, inside to outside without touching the car. Okay. Because otherwise you become the conduit. Whereas if you're in the car, you're still protected from the ground because of the rubber tires or something. I don't remember. This is what I heard in like grade five. So. Yeah. Why do they teach you all that stuff so early, you know? I know, like you can't hold on to any of this. Oh, fuck! Whoa, whoa! Oh boy. How did I live? What? How, did anyone see how I lived? Uh, you just went through the trees. <laughs> oh my god. So you didn't see the cliff of the trees. <laughs> I get it. I'm also pretty sure that they're overstating the, um, what, um, lightning would actually do to, uh, aircraft, because I'm pretty sure that commercial jets get struck all the time and it's not a big deal, right? I have no idea. Like, I know it's not good, but I know that generally it's just, like, it's not a huge problem. I don't even know. Yeah. I've never thought about it because I just never want to think about it. Yeah. All right, there we go. There we go. Like the last thing that I want to be thinking about while I'm in a plane is whether or not this plane is about to get hit by lightning. Yeah, man, air travel still scares me somewhat. I'm just gonna be blissfully ignorant until everything goes wrong. Oh, that's your plan for everything. Oh, it seems to be working, so... <laughs> oh, God, I missed. That's embarrassing. Oh, and I got struck by lightning again! Jesus! Oh, my God. 
It's like I'm a lightning rod for lightning. What? Scratching your ass and approach the enemy. Jesus. Ratheon 2077 tried to cheer 100 Slim Slims and was unsuccessful and says, Love those manly screams, Mark. <laughs> they are manly. Eh! <laughs> <laughs> It's gotten to the point now where I've, like, done the fake girly laugh so many times that now it's become my real laugh. <laughs> There's been a few times where, like, I don't know, a scary movie or something. And I'm just like, <laughs> And now you do it for reals? Yep. See, there is strength in the feminine. Uh, it's subversive and subtle, but it is there. I mean, I'm, there's many ways where that's correct. I just don't think that that specific scream noise is, is maybe it. <laughs> no, I think so. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> there, you did it again. No, I didn't. That was very manly. The rock sounds like that, too. I'm almost positive. I mean, no one has ever accused the rock of being, like, toxic masculine. That's true. Okay, okay. You're in no position to call someone a devil count. Don't make me laugh. Ah, I got you, you drone son of a bitch. You wave these moves swiftly. Watch your tails, guys. Okay. Hit it before you get hit by lightning again. Yeah. Not letting a damn robot shoot me down. I'm also not letting a damn robot shoot me down. That's the ultimate embarrassment. Bits, not bots, right? Exactly. Target destroyed. All right. On the plus side, not many. uh... Oh, gee, give me a goddamn break! <laughs> Alright, there's only one more drone left, and it's on the leader of that flight that I rescued, so no big deal. Except I can't see anything because the goddamn. Okay, there he is. Yeah. Uh, am I locked onto it, or am I gonna kill him with a present by mistake? Eh, it's probably fine. I can't tell if I hit it or not. Okay, no, I did not hit it. Okay. Ugh. Olden man like would like to point out that you've been hit by six lightning strikes. And yet haven't crashed once. Well, yeah, I got it. Alright, I'm a genius and a you did brilliant get, you pilot. Did crash once. Did I? Oh yeah, the first time. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Well, it says you only get struck by lightning if you fly in your dark clouds. Whatever. <laughs> That's just a it makes suggestion. Tell them I'm grateful. Copy that, Cyclops One. Spare squadron. Mission is complete. Return to base. Alrighty. Returning to base. Wait a minute. Hold oh, wait a minute. You have more chores for what? Spare eight, champ. Incoming aircraft. Fast from the rear. Uh. Support spare eight. I don't need any support. This is all mine. Go, Go get him, get champ. Him. He's my tail. Oh shit, look who it is. Still not firing. I ain't afraid of it. Spare eight. I don't know who that is. It's what's his face, Milhay or whatever the fuck. Spare Count lost. million names. One recon aircraft lost. Yeah, All I right. feel really bad that I can't remember his name. I think it's Mihay. Milhay? Mihay? Alright, you son of a bitch, I got ya. I got ya! Oh, fuck, I missed him. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to get him. You don't know. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. God damn you. Also, the look of his plane is so fucking cool. I really feel like Bandai Namco should work for the air. Oh, yeah! No, okay. Mm. Ah. Chat, thank you. Mihai. Mihai. Mihai? Mihai? Mihai. Mihai. I'm pretty sure there's also a well known psychologist who's named Mihai and has got. Almost impossible oh. for a speaker to pronounce last name. It must be difficult to shoot down in air combat. Oh, I got him. I got him, uh, you I son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on. This is the way. Nope, nope. 
Oh, he's flying in the things like a huge jerk. It's almost like he knows how to evade missiles. Yeah. Also, that, uh... Clouds. Oh, 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 ah! Where are you? That, um, that cinematic where he does that sweet, like, drift thing in the air. Uh, that looks fake as shit. But it's- Oh my god! Oh, he got me! Fuck! Oh! He is a goddamn flying wizard. But that's when you forgot. I'm also a wizard. And I came from the moon. Moon wizard? Yeah, it's from Destiny. Everyone made fun of him. Peter Dinklage for saying that line. That wizard came from the moon. All right, all right, all right, I, I'm on his tail. Oh yeah, you saw, oh, he flew behind the fucking, God, Jesus. Hmm. Come on, come on. Although he hasn't shot me down either, so we're tied as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know if he's, well, no, he has shot you. He yeah, he did get me once. I've only got 99 missiles left, so... Gotta be careful. Yep. Bullwick is... Uh, Bullwick says, you can do it too, Mark. You can perform post-stall maneuvers. Really? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh! Jesus, he's agile. Yeah, damn. Ah, oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Oh god, look at that. He goes right behind the things, like immediately. Woohoo! He knows. Everyone's right. cheering for Vengeance for Brownie. Wasn't his name Champ? Oh yeah, come on. Come on! Yes, maybe! No, yes! I got you, you nice. son of a bitch! Yay! I mean, you only hit him. Yeah, he only hit me, though, so... Yeah, what's your Hit status, Soul One? He's a little excited. Fuck you, guy. Oh, I don't think he used flares before, now he is. Ah, what a jerk. DGA uh, says, do it for the poorly animated dog. I am doing it for the dog. Ah, Jesus. I think I've impressed him. I also think his plane's kind of breaking. Yeah, I mean, there does seem to be systems malfunctioning. Those and he's smoking. Where are ya? Where are ya? Oh, where's he going? I think he's running. Oh, where? Okay. Well, you are supposed to follow him, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just... Ah, this is scary, though. There's things everywhere. <laughs> all right, all right. Jesus. Also, I like him commenting on the white lines. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Isn't it? I'm gonna shoot... But also not knowing what it means. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck. I wonder how he'd feel about a president killer going after him. I hope he doesn't find out. I want to impress this guy. I don't want him to know that I killed the president. Former president. And I love how you're just admitting it now. Former president. And allegedly. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Jackass. Jesus. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Bullock wants to know what plane you're in. I'm in the uh, same plane as him, actually, an SU-30 uh, SM, I believe. So the odds are even. Except he's way better at flying through these things <laughs> than I am. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? <sighs> God, Jesus, he's good. Your status is not fine, sir. 
Not anymore. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come back here, you son of a bitch! He's right there. Come back, you son of a bitch! He bugged out. You don't get to shoot him. I guess you let him go. And I'm called the biggest dumbass in the unit. Only an idiot would be brave enough. Jesus. Well, Prometheon2077 likes your flying because he he cheered 100 Shlim Shlams. Ah, thank you. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to land this plane and then I think we should call it for the night. I think you're right. And I'm going to do some sweet maneuvers where like, I'll spin around a bunch and like... Maybe I won't do that. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. Which one am I supposed to land on? Do you know? There's two here. Maybe that one? Uh, or that one? I don't, I don't know. I think whatever one strikes your fancy. I think that's how airports work, right? Yeah. Alright, Air Canada, Flight 107. Just whatever one you like, it's fine. <laughs> Look at that. So graceful. Oh, beautiful. Barely a bump. Yeah. All right. So thank you for flying with us here on Fuck You, It's Friday. We know you have multiple options when it comes to your Friday night streams, and we're glad you chose us. Uh, please be careful when looking at the overhead compartments, as items may have shifted during flight. Uh, for those of you going on to other destinations, or if you've arrived, is this doing anything for you? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Uh, I, I don't know how the rest of it goes. Um, we, we want to thank you for flying with uh, the Temple Institute. Um, why isn't the plane stopping, by the way? Just no. to, okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, so whether well, you're please, please note if you're if you're traveling to your next destination, our next takeoff is tomorrow at two p.m. Mountain Time. Ooh, wait, sorry, there's, yeah. there's a cinematic. But this guy swooped in like a hawk, locked on, and took them all out in the blink of an eye. Reminds me of a story Gramps told me once. Is she talking about you? Because I don't think she's talking about you. I think she's talking about uh, me, he me, hey. enemy fighter wipe out an entire formation right in front of him. It was like seeing how a shark works when it's going after its dinner. I don't think the timeline quite works out here, but I hope she's talking about Yellow 13. Pals from below, just like how a shark would. Then one by one, he put the bite on him. Sounds like what happened to our guys today. Kind of surprised so many made it back alive. I bet when they saw what was going on, they broke formation and left their buddies to the shark. Hang on. There's three extra planes here. They're foreigners too. Okay. Spare squadron. This mission needs to be quick. I will skip this. And what's going on? Just loading screen, probably. Probably, yes. Maybe, yes. Yeah, all right. Ah, so except they got mad at me again. Away. I'm back in solitary. What a dick. All right. Alrighty, yeah, so that'll be it for Fuck You, It's Friday. Thanks for joining us, folks. But of course, the streaming don't stop. We'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Mountain Time for Stellaris Invicta. Where hopefully we're going to win a war, but maybe not, right? Is that what's going on? I mean, at the risk of sounding unpatriotic, we could lose. Caesar! Guards! All right. <laughs> but yeah, and then, of course, back on Wednesday for Wildcard Wednesday, where, Larissa, you're still doing XCOM 1 for the first time. Yeah, definitely you... for the first time. I've never played it before. Yeah. And then <laughs> back again on Friday for more something? I don't know. Uh Fuck you, it's Friday for sure, but what it is, who knows, right? Yeah, we've got to figure that out. Yeah. Alrighty, and I just realized I'm in the wrong room when it comes to turning off the stream, so I'm going to have to run. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep talking. So I'm so, reclined uh, in the chair and I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Beautiful. Talk us out, Larry. Okay. Uh, check out the, the schedule down below so that you can catch up on all the right times, and we shall see you tomorrow.